Hello everybody and welcome back to your 10th C++ tutorial. Today I'll be going over something called multi-dimensional arrays. And uh, what these are, they're arrays which uh, you'll find out about in the previous tutorial, the ninth one. Uh, so they're like arrays, except it's an array within an array. So if you imagine that you have one array that contains 10 pieces of data, Within that, you can have another array. You can have another array that contains an amount of data as well. So uh, the easiest way to explain it is to show you. So if I just go ahead and create a multi-dimensional array. So start off by creating whatever data type you like. So for this example, I'll use an integer. And again, like in the last tutorial, I'll just call it num for number. Now the easiest way to think of multi-dimensional arrays are like a table with rows and columns. So to start off with the first number in square brackets you're going to enter is the amount of rows you're going to have if you think of it like this. So let's suppose we're going to have three rows or yeah three rows and in the second set of square brackets you're going to say how many columns you're going to have. So let's say we're going to have four. So then we're going to do something similar to before. We're going to have uh, our array with these um, curly brackets here, but inside them we're going to have another set of braces like this. So we have an array here, and then within that array we have another one. So if you think about this as a row and everything inside it as a column, so if we say have one, two, three, four, so we have four columns in it in the row. So if I create another one and in this one have five, six, seven, eight. And by the way, creating uh, curly braces within curly braces in code blocks, it can get a bit confusing. But if you just um, keep at it and make sure that you have the right amount separated by commas, it should work out all right. And the final set. 9, 10, 11 and 12. So now if we just go over this we've got one big array here in these two curly braces and then within that array we have if you like three rows so one, two and three and within then we have uh, four columns so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four. So now you um now we've created it, you may be wondering how we can display this. And it is quite similar to the previous tutorial how we ended up using a for loop. And uh so we are going to do something similar to that, but because it's a multi dimensional array, we're going to have a for loop within a for loop. So uh maybe a bit confusing, but if you just bear with me, uh you should get your head around it and it should all work out alright. So we'll create an integer called x. And we'll set it equal to zero. Say x is less than three and x plus plus. And now within that for loop, if we have another for loop, and we'll have this one int y equals zero, y is less than four, and y plus plus. And now if we display out uh, the num and within this we're going to have x and y. So now if I just explain what will happen here it will create a loop for the num for the rows if you like and then one for the columns and now what it will do is we'll put in uh, the rows and columns into here and it's going to loop that to the correct amount of times for the rows and the correct amount of times for columns. So if we just add an end line here, we should hopefully have all the numbers display. If we get rid of an error. Oh, sorry, just forgot this semicolon here. Now we have the numbers 1 through 12 displayed out on the screen. And if I just once again explain how all of this works, we have a for loop which will loop through the numbers 0 to uh, 2. So 
naught 1 and 2 for three numbers and we also have one that will do naught through 3 so less than 4 so the four numbers there and we're going to substitute those numbers in for x and y so the first time it runs through we'll have uh, 0 and 0 the second time we'll have 1 and 1 the next time we'll have 2 and 2 the next time we'll have 3 and 3 and then the final time we'll have 3 and 4 because x has already reached 3 but that's all uh, the y already has one more number to go so it'll be 3 and 4 and what that's going to do is it will display all of the numbers out on the screen and that's how you can display out a multi-dimensional array I hope that this tutorial helped you and please subscribe to my channel and like the video I'll see you in the next video